understanding how pesticides work is key to effective pest and disease management. Today, we'll break down pesticides into five main categories, contact, systemic, translaminar, fumigant, and biopesticide, and share examples of some of the latest and most commonly used active ingredients. Let's get started. First, let's talk about contact pesticides. These work on direct contact with the pest and don't move inside the plant. They're great for controlling pests you can see, like aphids or mites. A modern example is a cypermethrin, a pyrethroid insecticide widely used to control a range of insects in crops like cotton and vegetables. It's fast-acting and effective, but remember, it only works where it's applied. Next up are systemic pesticides. These are absorbed by the plant and spread through its tissues, making them ideal for pests that suck sap or bore into plants. A popular recent example is imidacloprid, a neonicotinoid insecticide. It's highly effective against pests like whiteflies and aphids in crops such as rice, fruits, and vegetables. Because it moves within the plant, it provides a longer lasting protection. Another systemic example is azoxystribin, a strobilurin fungicide. It's widely used to control diseases like powdery mildew and rust in cereals, grapes, and vegetables. Its ability to move within the plant ensures thorough protection, even in hard to reach areas. One important category is translaminar pesticides. These penetrate leaf tissues and protect both sides of the leaf. A great example is abamectin, an insecticide and miticide used to control spider mites and leaf miners in crops like citrus and vegetables. It's highly effective and provides residual control. Another type is fumigants, which are gaseous pesticides used in enclosed spaces. A common example is phosphine, widely used to protect stored grains from pests like weevils and beetles. It's a go-to solution for post-harvest pest management. Finally, let's not forget biological pesticides, which are derived from natural sources. A modern example is spinosad, made from soil bacteria. It's highly effective against caterpillars, thrips, and other pests in organic farming systems. It's not only effective, but also environmentally friendly. Want to learn more about the latest development in pest control? Subscribe to our Pesticides Info channel for expert tips, innovative solutions, and sustainable farming practices. Let's grow smarter and greener together.